Hey everyone, I'm John Ennis. This is my wife, Ruth Brown. Today we're going to do the uh, recap for um, January 2014, Week 1, 20s Charleston. Um, so this month, uh, Jordan Chan and I are teaching class, but John is um, thankfully filling in for our uh, class recap since we didn't get to that in the class. <laughs> So um, in week one, we just started on a kind of basic review of um, 20s Charleston, um, the 20s Charleston basic, repeated steps and repeated touches. Uh, and then we talked a little bit more about the kind of lead and follow aspects of it. Um, so to begin, so first starting off just with the, uh, the 20s basic, we talked about having um, kind of upright, but um, a fairly relaxed posture. We don't want a whole lot of tension in our arms. Um, so that we can signal, um, so that leaders can clearly signal when they want the follow to move or stop, and so that follows can clearly um, uh, know, can detect when the leader is, is trying to make a change. So generally we want um, just enough tension to kind of, you know, hold our arms up. We talked about the kind of one versus two versus three tension, so we want to be at about a, about a two. And we want our feet to be offset. So we'll start with the basic. Ready? Five, six. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. Twisties One, two, optional. three. Five, six, seven, eight. Yes, twisties uh, are optional in this class. We'll get to them um, perhaps next week. But for now, if you know them, feel free to do them. If you don't, uh, feel free to do just basic step and touches. So um, again, one more time, uh, we also talked about um, for leaders kind of prepping so that um, you know, the kind of basic starts on one. But we talked about leaders um, also kind of cl uh, clearly indicating weight shifts by um, this one actually kind of starts more on the, the seven and eight by we start off on the leader's um, left foot, the follows right foot. Um, that's where we start. And then on, um, on seven and eight, the leaders shift over to their foot to kind of prep the follow. Um, and then that clearly indicates what foot we're on so that we can be clear that we're starting one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so then we worked on leading repeated steps, um, which um, go like this. So one, so five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. 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 And so we use this as an example of yes, we can go forward and backwards. We use this uh, also as an example to talk about um, kind of momentum. That's important for um, follows to kind of always assume that they're going to be continuing the same direction that the leader puts them in. So as soon as they're going back, they're assuming they're going back. As soon as they're coming forward, they're assuming they're coming forward until the leader um, kind of uh, stops the follow. And so we talked about for leaders the importance of moving um, smoothly through your steps. So as you're um, as you're leading the follows, that you're very clearly moving and you're continuing momentum versus having a very staccato kind of step, stop, step, stop, step, stop. You want to move clearly so that the follow um, knows that she should continue to move it as well. Yep. Now repeated touches. So okay. we'll just show this. Yeah. So then the last thing was repeated touches. So five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. 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 Five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Which of course can be combined. Yeah, so here we're doing any, a number of repeated steps with some repeated touches in there that can all be mixed and matched. Um, and so then again with the, um, the repeated uh, touches, the way that the leader clearly indicates that to the follow um, is by clearly setting her weight, uh, both of their weights um, on a single foot while they continue to do the, um, the touches and uh, have a nice kind of counter body uh, motion. So uh, that was as far as we got this week. We look forward to seeing you again um, this next week. Thanks.